Welcome to Whiteboard Programming, where we simplify programming with easy to understand whiteboard videos and today I'll be sharing with you basic blockchain terms to help you kickstart your journey in the blockchain world. So let's get started. Number 1. Node, which is a term we use to refer to any member of the blockchain network. Number 2. Address, which is simply a string of alphanumeric characters which identify an entity in the blockchain network and is used to send and receive cryptocurrency transactions. Number 3. Distributed Ledger It's simply a ledger which is maintained on many nodes in the decentralized network and organizes them into a chronological order. This ledger can be of two types, permissioned and unpermissioned, based on who has the access to view the ledger. Number 4. Peer-to-peer -peer. Also short-termed as P2P, it signifies interactions that happen between two peers, that is, parties or entities, in a highly interconnected network. Number 5. Block a block is a data structure that contains all the necessary metadata about the block header and related transactions. The first block in a blockchain is called as genesis block. Number 6. Block height. Block height is the number of blocks connected in a blockchain. It is usually a measure of amount of data stored in the blockchain. Number 7. Blockchain. It is a chain of blocks which stores information in a specific type of database and keeps a record of every transaction which is carried across the network. Number 8. Block Explorer. It is a tool to see statistics of a block in a blockchain. I've added a link in the description below through which you can find Block Explorer of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Number 9. Hash. It is a term used whenever we are performing a hash function on the output data in the blockchain. For example, the hash of Amarpreet Singh file is the following and is used for verification of the transactions. Number 10. Hash rate. It is a term used to measure the performance of a computer mining process. It is also sometimes regarded as hashes per second. Number 11. Cryptographic hash functions. It is a function that takes a variable size input and gives output as a fixed size unique value. For example, SHA-256 algorithm. Number 12. Mining, which is a process of solving a complex mathematical problem in order to attach the new block of transaction to an existing blockchain. Next, difficulty. It is a term used to signify the hardness with which a new block of transactions can be connected to an existing blockchain network. Next, blockchain reward. It is a term used when a reward is given to the entity which connects the new block to the blockchain. For example, as in the case of Bitcoin, miners get a reward of 12.5 Bitcoins for attaching new block to the blockchain. Number 15. Cryptocurrency. It is regarded as decentralized digital money which is based on blockchain technology. Number 16. Satoshi. It is the smallest recordable unit of currency in Bitcoin. Currently, a Satoshi is numerically equal to 0.00000001 BTC. Next, altcoin. It's a term used for an alternative to Bitcoin, that is, alternative coin. A famous altcoin is Litecoin. Next, Wallet. A wallet is a file that contains private keys of an entity and provides an interface to view and do transactions on the blockchain network. Number 19. Consensus. Consensus is a way for all the nodes in the network to agree on a shared state of the ledger, that is, list of transactions. Some common consensus mechanisms are Raft, Paxos, Proof of Work, Proof of Stake, etc. Next, Smart Contract. A smart contract has details and permissions written in a code that requires an exact sequence of events to take place to trigger the agreement of the terms mentioned in the smart contract. It can also include the time constraint that can introduce deadlines in the contract. It is also known as crypto contract or a digital contract. 21. Transaction It is a term used to signify an exchange of assets between two parties or entities. Next, transaction fee. It is a part of digital asset, usually a cryptocurrency, that is charged from the parties who perform that transaction as a way to pay the networks who invest their resources in order to sustain the blockchain. 23. Blockchain Fork It is an act of blockchain software update which leads to splitting of blockchain into two or more valid blockchains. To learn more about blockchain forking, I'll recommend you to watch my video on forking in blockchain, link for which is given in the description below. Next, 51% Attack 
it is a term used to signify an attack in which a single organization or a group of entities performs invalid activities on the blockchain network simply because they control 51% or more of the network's resources. In the case of Bitcoin, it refers to owning 51% of Bitcoin miners. Next. Double spend. It is regarded as an act of using the same digital asset that is cryptocurrency twice for different transactions. It's a quite common type of attack in the blockchain networks. Next, confirmation, which is regarded as the act of successfully adding a transaction to the blockchain after verification. As a rule of thumb, more confirmation means more security against double spend attacks. Next, testnet. In a nutshell, a testnet is an alternative blockchain which is generally used for testing. Testnet coins are distinct from actual coins and do not have any monetary value. This allows application developers or testers to experiment without having to use the valuable coins. Next, DApp or DAPP. It stands for Decentralized Application and are a piece of software that communicates with the blockchain and manages the state of network nodes. The interface of decentralized applications does not look any different from any website or a mobile application that we see today. For example, a smart contract represents the core logic of decentralized application and it usually offers some kind of incentive for members who help to construct it. Next, ASIC. It stands for Application Specific Integrated Security. These are the type of computers which are designed for performing a special task. In the case of Bitcoin, ASIC computers are used to solve SSA-256 hashing problem, which helps to connect the new blocks to the blockchain. With that, I hope this video was helpful to you and served value. If you love my content, be sure to smash that like button and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do as it keeps me motivated and helps me create more content like this for you.